vinyl guru in the house and today we talk about a video that I find really fascinating most expensive records being sold last month let's check it out let's see what was really um, titillating for whoever had the money for it and see these outrageous prices <laughs> let's dive in First runner-up is gonna be uh, the Beatles box set in mono, the mono Beatles box set, which if you didn't get it, you know, damn, because I don't think it's gonna get a re read for us. And let's look at this wild price. Um, it last sold for 1700 bucks. Brutal. Given the fact that this came out like five, six years ago, it's brutal what some of these prices are going for, but that that would definitely be the box set to get out of the two between stereo versus mono. It's just one of those things. I wish personally that I got the Stones box set. Ah, that's major, major regret moment for me there. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Uh, we've got Junction 32's uh, Castle Ford record that sold for 1700 too. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a psychedelic band, essentially. Um, but it's more on the folky side of psychedelic uh, psychedelia. Uh, again, they, they don't they didn't make that many of those, so 1700 bucks, ka ching ka ching. Um, here now we we enter into the 45 land, and some of these 45s can just get extremely rare especially in the soul world so we've got ike strong's boogie land and the other side is your your love keeps me dancing and we're looking at 1700 for that too and here's a really interesting one one that came out last year i'm talking you know literally 2019 this is the billy eilish live at third man records this is the one where it had Blue, she splattered blue paint on a certain amount of records and they were only sold in uh, Detroit and the Nashville locations of or I think it was only in, I don't know I don't think it sold in either I think it was only in the Nashville Nashville location and exclusively, only at the third man store. So if you didn't get it, you didn't get it. And I think they only sold, you know, limited one per person because I, you know, they, they're good at really um, keeping the scalpers at bay at third man. But it's 1,745 bucks, I mean, damn, damn, a thousand, over a thousand bucks or something that came out last year, crazy. Um, next one is gonna be Santana's Abraxas. Now these are the 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 Mofi um, boxes that they've been doing, and they're really really good. You know these these boxes uh, they sell out really quick too. And this came out really recently too, 2016, and it's asking for 1750. What? I'm t I'm telling you, you got me bamboozled here. Um, now. Classical. There is some classical that is pretty gem worthy, and this is this is one of it. Uh, we got Brahm, some Symphonia One to Four. This is a it's a box set, so it's a six LP box set. Seventeen sixty three. Um, another one is gonna be uh, Klein. I don't know this. Uh, Neves Klein uh, Conference à la Scurban. This came out in 1959. Uh, it's a double LP. 1764? What is this? It's not even music. It's just, it's poetry. Oh, wow. It's poetry, folks. Well, damn. Um, another one is going to be, this is a great record, but you don't get, you don't, you don't see this at all in the wild. At all. Uh, this is Albatross's Garden of Eden, 1784. And this is another psychedelia 
art rock psychedelic extravaganza for sure. Um, and now you've got a familiar record for a lot of people here. You've got uh, Nico and the Velvet Underground. Yeah, the Velvet Underground Nico record. Now this one sold for 1788. Of course, it's probably super minty. Still got that peel. Still got. It's probably the very first pressing of it. The very first U.S. press of it. With I think that I think the very first press had the different thing going on in the back where the other issues of them didn't. I believe I believe I forgot what it is now. I think it's somebody like haunting, hunching over, or something like that. I could be wrong though, but I think I remember that. Let us know in those comments down below, please. Um, we've got a great record here. I have the reissue of it. I don't have the original, but this is great. Fractions Moon Blood, a great record uh, for the psychedelic you know, fuzzy lovers out there. It's a, it's a great stone, stoner uh, psychedelic record and it sold for 1800. Damn. We've got reggae and dub in the house now. This is Roots Untitled, 1800. And this was a Canadian uh, celebratory event. We've got um, Ron Richardson's, oh, what, babe. This came out in 1983. This is a boogie funk worker. Now, now that you know the the funk boogie scene is still alive and kicking, um, but for 1,800 bucks, she really better be stomping, honey. I'm just saying. We've got Prince now. I think this is Prince's. Oh, this is a test press. This is the very very first thing Prince ever really put out. Or actually, the second record. This is because for you is the first. But wow. Somebody paid the 1900 for the test pressing of it. A lot of mercy. We've got Haymarket Square, Magic Lantern. They sold for two grand psychedelic records. I'm telling you. Ka-chang, ka-chang with the psychedelia. Uh, Motorhead's self-titled record uh, running for 12, um, 2100, sorry. Uh, it's original UK. Uh, of that minor threat in my eyes going for almost 2200 hardcore punk stuff if you like that kind of thing um, Cleveland Robert, uh, Robertson jr. Love is a trap a loaf of bread now again we got another soul 45 in the house and this one's asking for 2400 damn damn David Bowie's low now I would love to know why this is asking for 2600 I would love to know that because it's not like it's a particularly hard 45 to get so I mean the only thing is saying that it's got it's a promo sample version is that really worth that much more I would love to know I would love to know anyway um Ricci symphony okay so we've got another classical record in the house here and it's asking for 2600 now I'll tell you those those UK decas crazy prices crazy another minor threat record here filler uh, 2700 bucks here for a 45 wild wild I didn't know that those punkas had it in them ka-chang ka-chang honey um Ravel another classical record uh, Henriette, uh, let's see here, 2800 <whistles> Crazy. Crazy, and I don't even know when this was released, so there you have that. Um, Tony Caro and John, all on the first day. And this is kind of more on the folkier side. And you're, you're getting uh, almost three grand for this record, I mean 2900 um, it's it's a self-release though it's not on label so I could see why the demand would be there for that generally those self-releases that makes sense um, we've got the appreciations is better to cry it's better to crap 3100 almost it's, it's just a 45 and it's but it's the promo version so that might be there for the fetishers out there we got Tina Brooks true blue 3700 bucks for this particular blue note here um honey coil 
uh, music to play in the dark squared. Uh, this is a $4,300 record. It was released in 2000. Electronic ambient? I did not know that the ambient world is that outrageous, but here we have it, folks. You keep shocking me. Sex Pistols, Did You Know Wrong? The acetate for the 10 inch is asking for 4400 and, and it's old. Um, that came out in 1977. The original Star Wars cast, uh, Empire Strikes Back. The acetate for that sold for 5,000 bucks. And if you can demand it and people pay for it, I guess that's, you can't argue that, I suppose. The Led Zeppelin box though, which was immaculate. Uh, if I could have afforded it, I would have got it, you know, but it, they were all like 200 gram and it was in a gorgeous um, metal box shell and everything as you can see here of course 6200 damn damn and this came out in 2006 so it doesn't matter when it comes out sometimes it really doesn't it really doesn't the demand is there the demand is there dear October after the fall uh, prog record that, that was asking for 6,500 and sold um, if you like that symphonic rock thing then there you have that morning phase their self-titled record um, psychedelic folk music I would say uh, came out in 1971 10 grand 10,465 bucks for this record Lord, how much, honey? Um, ten, ten thousand bucks. I mean, can you wrap your head around paying for a record like that? I would love to know. Hey, I would love to know. Anyways, if you found this fascinating, I could revisit this again because I found this absolutely fascinating. Anyway, you know what to do, darlings. It's the end of this video, of course. So. Leave those lovely comments let me know what shocked you i mean some of these were shocking to me and um until we meet again honey absolutely to do <sighs> ah! ten thousand bucks they're crazy out here i'm telling you crazy